Hi, this is Chris Shavako with Shavako Capital Management. In part two of our six-part series on quantitative easing, we will learn more about the primary dealers and their clients. This will give us a better understanding of how the Fed's freshly printed money can find its way into the real economy. Thanks again for stopping by the website, and we hope you enjoy the brief video. Since the Fed is encouraging the primary dealers to submit customer bonds for bids in the competitive auction process, it is helpful to understand who does business with the Fed's network of primary dealers. The clients, or customers as the Fed refers to them, include everyday investors with brokerage accounts at Morgan Stanley or Merrill Lynch. The primary dealers can offer to sell the Fed bonds from a vast array of potentially interested clients including high net worth individuals, hedge funds, sovereign wealth funds, and alternative asset managers. You may have noticed that many of the primary dealers have global footprints. This newly printed money from the Fed will be finding its way around the globe, impacting currencies, commodities, and foreign stock markets. When you consider some of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds may participate in the QE process, you can understand the potentially broad impact of the Fed's actions. The world's largest sovereign wealth funds control billions of dollars. They are based all over the globe in places such as China, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Norway. But the currency risk involved when foreigners hold treasury bonds denominated in U.S. dollars it is not a stretch to believe some sovereign wealth funds will be interested in selling some of their treasuries to the Fed in exchange for newly printed U.S. dollars. To reduce their currency risk, the sovereign wealth funds may quickly exchange the Fed's cash for gold, silver, copper, oil, or stocks. The objective of the clients of the primary dealers is to make money. The objective of the primary dealers is to make money. With interest rates at nearly zero and Warren Buffett stating that stocks are much more attractive than bonds, it is not all that difficult to imagine the Fed's newly printed U.S. dollars doing more than just sitting at banks. Fears of future inflation can make cash unattractive in the eyes of investors and consumers. A big part of the Fed's approach is to increase the expectations of future inflation since it can change the investing and buying habits of businesses and consumers. This video is part of a six-part series of videos on quantitative easing. You can access all six videos via the QE videos link on our homepage. At Shivako Capital Management, we wish you nothing but success in your personal, professional, and investment endeavors. Have a great day. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational purposes and is not to be construed as a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any securities or related financial instruments, nor should any of the content be taken as investment advice. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice, and Shivako Capital Management LLC or CCM is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. CCM and its respective officers and associates or clients may have an interest in the securities or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. CCM accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. We recommend that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision.